Welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to create your very own chatbot using Python that runs entirely on your computer. No need to stay online for it to work and the best part, it's completely free. There's no complex setup and no subscriptions or payments required. Before we dive in, please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Your support really helps me create even better content for you. First, we'll start by installing Olama. Olama is a software platform that allows you to run large language models locally on your computer, making it perfect for building our chatbot. To get started, open your browser and head to olama.com. Download the version of Olama that matches your operating system. Once the download is complete, open the file to begin the installation process. During the setup, you will also be prompted to install the Olama command line tool. Make sure to install that as well as we will need it for running commands later on. Next, let's verify that Olama was installed correctly. Open your terminal and type Olama and hit enter. If everything is set up properly, you should see an output similar to this. Now, let's choose the model we will use for our chatbot. Open your browser and go to github.com slash olama slash olama. Scroll down and you will find a list of models available in this model library. Each model's size is shown here, so make sure you have enough storage on your computer. There are also memory requirements listed for different model sizes. To run models with 7 billion parameters, you will need at least 8 GB of RAM. For models with 13 billion parameters, you will need at least 16 GB of RAM. And for the largest models with 33 billion parameters, you will need 32 GB of RAM. Choose a model that best fits your system's specification. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Llama 3.2 model. To install it, Simply copy the command provided here and paste it into your terminal. Run the command and it will download and install the Llama 3.2 model onto your system. To test the model, simply type the same command you used to install it. Olama run Llama 3.2 Now, you are ready to start chatting with the model. This chatbot is running entirely on your computer without the need for an internet connection. To interact with this model using Python, we will need to install a few packages. In your terminal, type pip or pip3 install langchain, langchain olama, olama. Hit enter and let the packages install. While they are installing, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel. Let's write some Python code to interact with our model and bring our chatbot to life. First, we need to import the necessary Langchill modules, as shown here. Next, we create a model object that references the model we installed on our computer. Now, let's create a template that defines how we will interact with the chatbot. Our goal is simple. We ask a question, and the chatbot responds. In this template, we will specify something like answer the question below, followed by the actual question, we'll pass our question as input to this template, and the chatbot will provide its response. To create the prompt, we will write prompt equals chat prompt template dot from template and we provide our template here. Then we create a chain by linking the prompt and model together. We write chain equals prompt pipe operator model. Next, we prepare a message to send to the chatbot. We provide this message as the question in our template. Finally, we execute the chain to get the result and print the chatbot's response. Let's run this code. When I run it, you will see that the bot responds with something like, I am doing well, thanks for asking. Now, 
Let's make our chatbot capable of holding a continuous conversation until the user decides to end it. I'll start by creating a function called handle conversation. Inside this function, we will display a message saying, ask me anything, type exit to quit. Then we will set up an infinite loop using while true. This loop will allow us to keep the conversation going. In each loop iteration, we capture the user's input. If the user types exit, we will break out of the loop to end the conversation. Otherwise, we will pass the user's input as a question to the chatbot. And then print the response. Let's go ahead and run this code to see how it works. I start by typing hello and the chatbot greets me back. Then I ask, I need some money management advice. And the chatbot provides a detailed explanation on managing money. Everything seems great, right? But there is one issue. If I then ask the chatbot to summarize what it just said, it does not understand the request. Essentially, the chatbot isn't able to remember our conversation. It treats each question as if it's brand new, with no memory of previous interactions. To enable the chatbot to remember our conversation history, we need to make a few changes to our setup. First, let's update the template. Now, before passing each question to the chatbot, we will include the conversation history and specify that in the template. Inside the handle conversation function, we will create a variable to collect the chat history. This will store our ongoing conversation. When we pass a new question to the chatbot, we will include both the user's question and the history of previous conversation. After each response, we will add the user's input and the chatbot's reply to the history, keeping the conversation context intact. Let's test this updated code. I start by saying hello and the chatbot responds with a greeting. Next, I ask about black holes and the chatbot provides a detailed explanation. Then, I ask it to summarize what it told me about black holes. And, as you can see, it successfully gives a summary of its previous answer. That's it. You can find the complete code in the link provided in the description. If this video helped you in any way, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. This channel isn't monetized, so your support really makes a difference and helps me create even better content for you.